Hey everybody! Today we're going to go in a different direction with today's video and talk about something that's a little heavy. I didn't really want to do this, but for the past two weeks my head's not been in a great place. And I want to talk to you about it. I'm mostly doing this video just to put out there a couple of things. And it's mostly going to be unedited. So for the past... So I want to just address this. Everyone's situation is different. Yours may be better than mine. Yours may be worse than mine. It's still valid to talk about it. So I do actually suffer from a bit of anxiety. Whether it's anxiety around being in certain places, people, and situations. I've been feeling really crook for a week. And where it went from. And it just went from there. So, I'm not necessarily blaming anyone. Living with people can be difficult, even if... I mean, living with people regardless of who they are, whether they're family or friends, can be difficult, especially if people don't respect boundaries. I can't exactly leave this situation at the moment. I mean, I've talked about the apartment and moving here before, but things have stalled and I don't actually know if I can, if I have the mental capacity to actually stay here anymore. I mean, I've been packing since June and I'm halfway through it and it needs to come quicker so to actually get to the point there are some people in your life who put you down who make you feel like crap that you can't do anything right I mean, I know I'm not good at certain things. I know where my boundary lies. But if people keep trying to put you down, you sink down. You start feeling like maybe you aren't good enough. And they're over so... And it's all over stupid stuff. Small in... I was about to say small and consider it... Um, insignificant stuff that it starts to take a toll like I can handle if you can't do this then you can't move out to a point but it's comments about my lack of a love life my lack of a social life and the fact that I can't clean things thoroughly because one I may not be able to see whether or not there's something dirty still there. Jeez, you accidentally put a spoon that's dirty back in the drawer. And it's World War Three. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter how you do things. It doesn't matter who, how much you try. People still try to go, oh, she can't do this right. She can't leave. Or... The comments about how you dress and how you act. It's a constant put down. So yeah, my mental health and my anxiety over not just the apartment stuff, but things that are going on around me and things that have happened in my life. I mean, I don't talk about my family here because it's not something I want people knowing. I don't want people to know about my sister who's an addict. I don't want... I just 
don't want to feel like I'm a constant disappointment. And sometimes that really can affect you. I mean, I've not been feeling great because of it for probably since Thursday last week. And I don't think people actually understand that I don't think people understand just how much it hurts to constantly be put down and made to feel like you're nothing. As for my apartment situation, I don't know what's going on there. The NDIS here in Australia can be completely shocking. Especially when it comes to things being approved. It can take weeks or months just of you waiting for a decision. And when you're living with people who don't make you feel the best, it takes a toll. And it's been taking a toll for the past month. When you have to wait for an organization to make a choice, and it's not the apartment complex that's doing it, it's the actual NDIS itself. It's just frustrating. And it's frustrating having to prove yourself over and over again. My disability isn't going away anytime soon. It never will. And yet, people like my sister who have pretty much fried their brain over 23 years of drug abuse can get all the support she needs. I don't get how that is actually fair. It's her life. She's the one who started abusing the stuff and yet because of her now drug-related schizophrenia, I feel like it's a losing battle because people like that who intentionally do that to themselves can s seem to get everything just handed to them on a silver platter while well, I have to fight to prove that I'm worth it, that I have a right to my own place. That is set up for my needs. It shouldn't. And it doesn't actually help that no one knows how exactly the SDA, the Supported Disability Accommodation, and the SIL, the Supported Independent Living stuff, actually works. Not even the people within the NDIA itself know how all this works. Navigating... All of this is a nightmare, and it's not helpful for anyone. This may seem like I'm just ranting about nothing, but this is people's mental health we're talking about. If living in a place where you're constantly being put down and treated bad is a way of life, then just get rid of me now. Just I don't know. And like I said, my anxiety has just been bad. I don't talk about my emotions. I don't do anything because opening up to people about that is personal. I mean, how am I supposed to, like, navigate this when that's happening? It's none of my, it's not anyone's fault. It's not mine. And like I said, there are people out there that do things to themselves. And they seem to get everything when everyone else is just trying to prove that they're worth it. I haven't, I'm not saying any of this to gain sympathy. 
I'm just saying the mental health struggle is real and especially for those who have disabilities they're put in situation we're putting we're put in situations where normal everyone else everyone else doesn't have to face you don't know what goes through my head on a daily basis so just know that you are worth it that you're always going to be around people who sometimes treat you badly that's just how I feel I want this to go away. I want normalcy. I want things just to go right instead of always go wrong. And I'm not saying that I'm not sympathetic towards people who have mental illness, who have things like bipolar or schizophrenia, but I don't feel sorry for the ones who actually caused it from through years of drug abuse. I'm sorry. I've had to deal with this my entire life and I just can't deal with it anymore. I am grateful to the people that I've met, especially over the last five years, who actually did help me trust again, who I considered friends. I mean, I miss all of them. So as a final note, you are worth it and you deserve all the best. Fight for what you, fight for what you need. Never give up because if you give up then they win. Also never judge, especially if you see someone with a physical disability that you see having a hard time. Don't judge them. Just try and help. You may not be able to help with everything. But even just coming up and asking if you're okay. Is a good move. Asking if anyone's okay is a good move. I don't really know how to close this out. Thank you for listening to my little rambles. It needed to happen. And next week's video will be a lot happier. I'll show you what I picked up from my last shopping day. Because it's actually going to be for my next video. It may be a little more frustrating. But someone commented on a video asking how I use my hands. So I bought a Lego set that looks cute. So I'm going to be doing this within my next video. Always remember that you are worth it. I hope you have a great day or a great night, depending on where you are in the world. And I'll bring you a smile and a hug next time. Thank you for watching and... I'll see you around.